YouTube is here to inspire you with great new video ideas with their brand new inspiration tab. And the reason I'm doing the quotes is this is the research tab, reskinned, but has some new features that we're gonna take a look at today. We're just gonna walk through what what's there. And I'm gonna be honest, it's not like a whole lot. Uh, how you might be able to use it to help you come up with video ideas. And then just some overall takeaways of where this might go, where it is in its current state, and is it truly viable for you and your content creation journey? And so we're gonna take a look at a prank channel today, and we're gonna use this new tool. Now, if you are like, I have not seen this yet, maybe you recognize when I click switch, this is kind of where it used to look like in the initial research, and they've been developing it as it's gone along. And now one day we've woken up and it's inspiration. And inspiration gives you a couple things to look at. One, I'm going to highlight, it's called breakout videos. I've not been able to get the inspiration tab to actually show me a breakout video yet. So I will read that definition later on. Here's similar outliers and view stats. Uh, so that's just to kind of give you the tease here. But then some of the other things is it shows you new videos to inspire you, uh, popular search or what your audience is looking for. And then it has this uh, search bar that integrates AI to help you come up with new ideas. So a way you might use this is you hop on the back end of your YouTube studio and you're like, you know what, I need to come up with a new content bucket for prank videos. I've been doing this particular type. I'm gonna try this version. So I look, I see, okay, they're looking for prank stuff. That doesn't shock you. Uh, I'm sure maybe there's more specific keywords here. But then you're seeing these types of pranks in the park, farting pranks, like, yeah, maybe. Seeing searches related to the videos that you do. Okay, well, maybe there's something I can come up with here. Oh, you know, elevator is kind of a fun idea. Seeing searches related to Walmart, escalators. What in the world? Maybe, you know what? Maybe I should make an elevator pranking video. Uh, and so let's do, here we go. Um, pranking uh, people in an elevator there you go simple idea and what it does is it kind of shows you the interest in that particular keyword or your viewers interest in related topics elevator is not the highest thing but you know what it's something shows you a bar here and then it uh puts out a couple other ideas getting lost in foreign city trying your to find your way back is is very different than what I, I typed in here but hey it's an idea try and fuse you never tried before also very different the best place to get adventures on a budget so think the similar ideas uh, as you can see experiment is a good word to put here uh because these are not very similar to what i put maybe i click refresh and be a little bit closer <laughs> um not really but you know it's there and i'm sure it does better perhaps what i typed in was too specific you do get some ideas of what people are watching in that realm and there is some uh elevator pranks there and then you have some search topics related to the thing that you've typed in, getting trapped in an elevator, et cetera. You see that. So I'll be transparent. I've played with this tool a little bit before this video. It's how I knew that breakout videos were something that I couldn't seem to get to show. But the create outline works about half of the time. Okay. So when we click this, I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that we get the outline. But it's, it's, it feels 50-50 often, depending on the idea that you put in. So I'm gonna click Create Outline. All right, so I have, as you see, I've, I've ran this before. So I already had it. I want you guys to see how it like kind of articulates it. So let's change it a little bit. Let's just end it in a mall. There we go. And then let's click Create Outline. You'll see it kind of populate here where what it does is it comes up with like the concept and then like three bullet points of segments that you could do. So getting pranked in the mall, people get pranked in the mall. There you go. Uh, watch the funny reactions. Enjoy the prankster's reaction. See, here's what I'll say about the outline is I'm sure many of you have tried to use like a chat GPT, perhaps Gemini or whatever AI tool that you enjoy to help ideate for videos. And it does an, a meh job. The human intuition and creativity isn't quite there with AI. And so it does some very basic things. Uh, I would do want to show you the outline that it came up with for the previous one. So I think I actually came up with some of these, like for example, top 10 best elevator pranks. And uh, one time that I ran this, it said someone getting Rick rolled in an elevator. That, that was actually a kind of a specific, maybe actual legitimate thing to do in a top 10 elevator. 
uh, but it didn't show up this time. So I guess maybe the outline does change after a while. I don't know. I will say that this outline, once again, this outline feature, I think could help generate the next idea. It could potentially give you some thought starters on a segment. This is not going to write out your video for you. I have seen probably people who are trying to get clicks be like, oh, this is changing the game for creators. It's pretty rudimentary at this point. It's curating what your viewers are watching, which some of that stuff has been available in the studio. You can see that in the audience content, it's just very small. It's curating search topics, which once again, you could have done through the advanced analytics in the YouTube studio. And then it's using its Gemini AI to give you a very, very basic outline of your new idea or a video idea, which once again, might get you to that next video, but it's not much. Now I want to talk about the breakout videos. And like I said, I struggled to find this on, uh, on the actual platform. So I went and looked it up and if you scroll here, breakout videos are simply this card highlights well-performing content from other creators who are similar to your channel. And it just shows it's a breakout video. Once again, this is very similar to, as you can see, I have the tab in outliers. Uh, we might as well just go to it. Outliers if you sets pro. So for example, instead of trying to get the prompt and show me things of this variety, if I want to find a really good elevator prank done within let's, let's just go within the last six months. I can do that over hundred thousand views. This is view stats pro. I'm very pro on view sets pro. And I can type elevator prank and I'm probably going to get a decent idea of the outliers here. And I do, right? So I have, you know, some videos have done well, the packaging for it, etc. It looks like it's a very, um, this is like the same elevator. So I don't know if this is like aggregate channels, but see, that was very easy for me to at least see what's out there. It recently of the thing that I'm looking to do, it, it's, it's just much more seamless than what I could get the back end, the inspiration thing to do. So that's just me giving you an example of how you could potentially use this tool. Now you have to pay for this, but if you really feel like the breakouts are helpful. This is one that does it pretty seamlessly. Another thing that seems to be gone, but it says it is there is content gaps, but it's specifically for short. So I actually thought one of the better ideas and I'll read you what they did was, was, was it was identifying where there's a, an opportunity where there's demand in search, but not supply. Okay. And so it says here, a content gap we have when viewers can't find any result for their searches can't find an exact match for the searches. Viewers can't find relevant videos for the searches. For example, the content is old or low quality. And that was an opportunity for you to do something that needed to be updated, added, etc. I feel like that's something that YouTube, if you're listening, that's where I would maybe put your next venture of effort is that content gap being a little bit more, um, uh, easy to use, accessible to use and, and, and returnable value because right now it's kind of all over the place. It feels like, as YouTube does, uh, they have rolled out a tool that, you know, bare bones, can you use it? Sure. But they will probably develop it moving forward. I, I think YouTube legitimately wants to equip folks with ways to ideate for new content. That's what the inspiration tab was for. I bet you that's what the research tab's initial iteration was for. But when you see research, you have kind of a different feel for it. When you read inspiration, you're like, oh, I'm supposed to be inspired. It, it just feels like there's, there's like a, a lightness and, and, and an energy to that very name. So what does it mean for you as a creator, uh, whether you're, you know, a brand creator, whatever you're doing, I wouldn't hang your hat. I'm saying, boy, do we have a new tool for you. And that's just going to change the way we're doing things as I bang the mic. I apologize. I would say more is that I keep an eye on it as it updates. If you are stuck, you know, take some time to poke around and perhaps it will end as a new idea. I will say though, similar to other reviews, like I did for view sets pro this tool very much. So is going to be, you need to kind of know what you're striving to do as you go into it. If you go into a blank slate, like, like I did, I didn't come up with the greatest prompt and perhaps that's why I didn't get very great results. Maybe if you get more uh, specific and you kind of know where you're headed, you want to see what's out there that tool could be more empowering to your efforts. But that's the same as like a view stats pro. 
which is going to give you a little bit more juice than what YouTube is currently offering. The outline is, you know, it works when it works. It's something I would say this is very rudimentary. It's like it's been rolled out for people to react to and then it will prove over time. I do see this as interesting because it's very similar to some of what view stats does. Uh, and I don't know if there's a competition there, but needless to say, it's there for you to try out. So inspiration tab, be inspired with a new idea and happy creating. Thanks for watching everyone.